Hey everybody, tonight on Guns, Bikes, and Brews, we've got Hot Butchers for the World, Herbs in Hordo. So another uh, beer from Hot Butcher for the World, this time it is Herbs in Hordo. Um, we've got some great uh, can art from uh, Dan Jitsa, again, uh, he does all their uh, can art. Uh, this time we've got, uh, you know, the Audrey 2 taking over Chicago. Uh, gotta love that. Uh, gotta love the uh, shout out to the local uh, local artist, or I don't know if he's local to Chicago, but, uh, you know, the the scene of uh, Chicago and where Hot Butcher is from. Anyway, um, you know, again, this guy is uh, another double IPA, 7.5 ABV. What can I say? Um, Hot Butcher, you know, when they, uh, when they put together their double IPAs, they always kind of hit the numbers uh, right where they want them. They are new school uh, perfectionists in uh, beer, water nerds, all that fun stuff. Um, this guy's got Strata and Mosaic Hops. Um, so without further ado, we're going to get this puppy out of the can, put him in the glass. And as always, we've got a nice little uh, glassware from, from Hot Butcher. So uh, beer always tastes better in proper glassware. Um, so we know this one's going to taste delicious right off the bat. And we've got a little bit of a little tree theming here. We've got the Audrey 2, you know, uh, taking over. So a little bit of everything going on. Good mix together. I really do like this nice tall glass that, uh, you know, Hot Butcher decided to come out with. Uh, they do do a lot of tekus. They do do a lot of tulips. Um, but there's something about this nice shape of the glass. Um, that I really like. I really like to watch the foam kind of the head kind of curl away. Again, this is your your uh, your typical hot butcher beer. It is kind of a yellow to orange. Definitely um, not uh, not transparent. Definitely translucent. Uh, heading towards opaque, almost completely opaque. Um, again, that yellowish uh, kind of orange color could be orange juice. Uh, could be like a lemonade if you know if you've got that darkish. Darkness to the lemonade it does have that kind of a more of a yellower tint to it uh, rather than an orangey tint to it. You've got uh, lots of creamy white head, um, you know, tight bubbles, big bubbles. Really, 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 really nice looking, uh, nice looking beer. Let's see if we get a little uh, smell on this guy. Mmm, this guy is definitely jumping out with uh, with definitely tropical flavors. Getting a lot of the tropical flavors right right out the nose. Mmm. Again, citrus. Not sure if it's orange. Maybe lemon. Maybe a little bit more lemon in this than orange. Got some dankness to it. You know, you put put hops in it, you're definitely getting dankness in there. I think mosaic does have a good 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 amount of dankness to it. Anyway, this is a, a good looking beer. So without further ado, let's uh get this in my mouth. I'll shut up and drink a little bit. Mm. This one's got a lot of dankness to it. I'm not used to that much dankness in a, in a hot butcher beer, but I, I'm liking it. Definitely has got that vegetal, vegetal type of uh, taste to it. I'm picking up on more of the hops, less of the sweetness. There definitely is some, some citrus in there. I don't want to say it's orange this time. It's a little bit less orange. Maybe a little bit more lemon. I'm going to say a little bit more lemony than orange. Definitely a nice beer. Definitely um, a little bit more bitterness than I'm used to in a hot butcher beer. Usually hot butcher beers are very kind of um, sweet and creamy. This one does have... Um, decent amount of dankness, decent amount of bitterness cutting through it, which I really do like. Um, I don't want to call it sourness, but it's definitely a little, uh, a little bit more bitter, a little bit more, uh, more dank than I'm used to. Um, great beer, excellent mouthfeel. Again, 7.5 ABV, not really tasting. It's not, not hot at all. Um, these beers couldn't get hot if you get, once you get up in those, uh, get up in those ABV ranges. Definitely not tasting anything hot in that.
Yeah, I like this beer. I like this beer a lot. I definitely drink more than one, for sure. Um, so, why don't we get a conversation going? Do you like this beer? How do you feel about Hop Butcher? Can you get Hop Butcher? I always complain you can't get it in New Jersey, but if you're uh, Chicago, Chicago area, local, um, you know, probably easy for you to pick it up. Uh, where are you guys getting the beer from if you can't get it um, locally? Um, anyway, so why don't we uh, stay tuned for our next video. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for the latest updates. Uh, you can follow me at gunsbikesandbrews.com. Um, also at Guns, Bikes, and Brews on um, Instagram and at Dieselboy973 on Untapped. So until next time, remember, shoot, ride, and satisfy. Cheers.